Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going over the finally completed custom Glock 19. So first thing to mention, I have done uh, a couple videos on this and I'll let you know on what I did a video on and I'll be sure to put the link uh, either up on the screen or down in the description. But first up with the slide, I already did a uh, video on the slide. Uh, I'll put that video down below, but if you're interested, uh, I did the machine work on the slide and I did the machine work on the barrel. Uh, once I got done machine in the slide. I sent it to uh, EDC Tactical out in Richmond, Virginia, which is really nice because I'm in Virginia, so it was close to me, so I didn't have to go all over the world to get uh, what I needed done, but they Cerakoted this, and it's the uh, dark camouflage. They did a really good job on that, and then I machined the barrel in this, and what I did was I uh, machined this flush with the end of the slide, uh, if you don't know all Glocks, the barrel does stick out about an eighth of an inch or so. So I machined it and faced it off so it's flush with the end of the slide. And then I put a chamfer in there or crown, whatever you want to call it. Did that to make it look like that. And I also uh, did some flutes on the top portion of the barrel as well. Once I got all of the machine work done on the barrel, I sent that out to Titanium Gun their uh, company in California that I've worked with them in the past with a couple of other barrels uh, for pistols that I've done. really like their company. They do a really good job. Uh, but they did the titanium nitride coating on the barrel, which gives it this gold color. And the titanium nitride coating is actually a more durable than the regular coating on your barrel. So it is a good idea if you're thinking about doing it. There is some uh, good aspects of getting your barrel titanium nitride coated or any other metal part on any pistol or rifle that you want. It's a, it's not a bad idea to get it done. But titanium nitride uh, coating on the barrel, titanium gun in California did it. When I sent them the barrel on Glocks, you have a screw on the end here for your recoil spring. I took that apart and sent the screw with the barrel and they did the titanium nitride coating on that as well. So that is all for the uh, slide. And if you're wondering, the uh, sights I have on here right now are just the stock uh, sights on here. So that's all for the uh, slide on this. Uh, next up is I do have a light on here. And I do right now, most of the time, use this Glock for my concealed carry pistol. Uh, this light is a Streamlight TLR7. It's really nice because it's really small and compact and it's flush with the edge of your Glock. I did do a video on this light and I'll put that uh, link down in the description if you want to check that out. I do recommend this light. All lights from Streamlight I really really enjoy. They're really really good well made lights. And next up for the grip, a lot of people thought from some of the pictures I posted on Instagram that this was actually stippled but it's not. This is uh, one of the grips from Talon Grips. If you don't know what Talon Grips are, I have used them a number of times in the past on some of my pistols. It's a really, really good, cheap option and a really good, cheap alternative to stippling. If you don't know what stippling is, it's where you work on your frame and a couple of companies do a bunch of different patterns and stuff like that, but it gives it a more aggressive grip on your frame. A lot of people don't usually do it because it does kind of get kind of expensive, but it is, it's a really nice feature on a pistol if you do want to go that route. If you didn't want to dish out the money for stippling, Talon Grips is the way to go. I do recommend them and I love their stuff. What you'll do is they'll send you a grip for whatever pistol you choose. I think they have one for just about any pistol on the market and it's pretty much uh, just a stick on grip. They send you a clean and white 
So what you'll do is you'll clean your frame off real good, unpeel the back off of your grip and stick it on where it needs to go. It's all one piece and it's uh, really easy to do. It's kind of hard to mess it up so you don't have to worry about that. And it stays on there really good. You don't have to worry about it coming off or anything like that. I've never had an issue with any of those. So I do highly recommend a Talon grip for your pistol and that's what I've got on this custom Glock 19. Then next up is the trigger. I went with the Enhanced Glock Trigger from Apex Tactical. I have worked with Apex in the past on uh, my Smith & Wesson SD9VE, which I've got a number of videos on that pistol as well. But I do really enjoy Apex. There's a lot of companies out there that do triggers for pistols. And Apex is pretty much the number one company I go with in regards to triggers for pistols. Uh, they're like right on the mark versus value and price. There is a couple of companies out there that a lot of people argue make better triggers, and that might be so, but you're going to be paying a little bit more for that. Uh, so Apex hits it right on the mark as far as the value of it with uh, how much you're paying in and the quality trigger that you get. This is one of their flat face triggers for the Glock 19, and it's red with the black uh, safety trigger in there. It's just like your regular Glock trigger where you that uh, trigger in there has to be compressed before the trigger will fire. And also with this trigger, it does have a better reset and travel, and the uh, pull weight on it is a little bit lighter as well. But all in all, I'm really satisfied with this trigger. And it works really well, and I've enjoyed shooting it. It was definitely a good purchase. And I highly recommend getting a trigger on just about any pistol you have from Apex Tactical. So that is all for the custom Glock 19 I did. This was actually the first Glock I've ever owned. Uh, this is a Glock 19 Gen 3 if you were wondering. But this was the first pistol I've ever owned and it's the only one so far that I've done any kind of custom work to. I have done a little bit of custom work to other pistols but this is the first Glock that I got. And as soon as I got it I had it for about five minutes before I needed to do something to it. So I really enjoy this pistol. I like everything I did to it. Let me know what you think about it. I'm sure I'll do some other stuff. Uh, maybe not to this one, but other Glocks as I get somewhere down the road. And I'll be sure to do videos on all that stuff. But this is the custom Glock 19. So let me know down in the comments what you think of this pistol. And if this is your first video, be sure to consider getting subscribed to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.